<laughs> hey y'all, what's up? I know it's been a minute, but um, this is Rockland. Um, you know, I run the Passport Kings uh, YouTube page. And I also want to let you guys know that this is probably be my last reaction video because I am moving all of my reactions to another page called Rockland Reacts. So um, just check this one out. Um, We're going to be looking at Bill Burr again. This is how you know the N-word is coming. And let's see what I think about it. Nice to be back here down the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, <laughs> and it's coming hard. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. <laughs> and he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like, doing the wave. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. <laughs> I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of, like, a potential ass-kicking that I had nothing to do with. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. <laughs> I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, fill me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. <laughs> do you like to fish? <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. <laughs> you give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. <laughs> Just dive into it. <laughs> that dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! Yeah, shit. <laughs> you know, those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up! They're playing the game! <laughs> You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know get attacked by animals, <laughs> just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Oh, God. Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That so was one of the enough. greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. Mm. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> if you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp collection? Like, you're awesome. Yeah, awesome. You get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! And they're always calling him up, come on up here! No, oh, come on up here! <laughs> well, they came up there. <laughs> they didn't, they kicked the shit out of everybody, it was great. It was like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like... <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy, wasn't that great? <laughs> He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, Wow! It's coming right at me! It must be in 3D or something! That was a 5'6 
six inch, 110 pound white dude had an angry six foot, 10 inch black dude running right at him. Mm. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. <laughs> and he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have. <laughs> <laughs> all right yo well that was uh bill burr how you know the n-word is coming i mean he only gave one example of when the n-word was coming but he talked about some of the um episode that i mean not episode but some other incident that happened inside of a basketball game uh i mean it was so i guess it was so long ago i just really don't remember what he's talking about but i can imagine that he, he painted a really good picture of what happened but anyway like i was saying y'all thanks for watching my reaction i am um um, moving all of my reaction videos over to my Rockland Reacts um, uh, YouTube page, and um, y'all can catch them all there. I, I mean, the only reason why I'm doing that because I think it's unfair that people come to my site for a certain thing. Um, I I've been doing travel for four years already on YouTube, so well, almost five years now on YouTube. So I mean, if people come to my uh, YouTube page, they want to see something about travel, and then all of the uh, new fans or the new subscribers that I picked up. Um, you subscribe because you wanted to see me do reaction videos. So I think it'll only be fair that I put those uh, two in two different places. So I hope y'all um, keep watching. I will keep trying to um, put out more reaction videos. I know things been taking a while. I've been working on a um, on a on a uh, course for making travel videos. So that's why I haven't really been putting up a lot of stuff lately. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.